Hi dear students and viewers. Welcome back to my channel Anvani Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video I am going to explain about the one of the important 8 marks question in the chapter of Nuclei that belongs to intermediate secondary physics. Very easy, easiest one and most important one. Okay, without late, go to the topic. So before start the lesson children, my request is I am doing the all the intermediate second year, first year, MZ, NEET, IIT videos in our channel. That's why you can subscribe my channel and share my channel to others also. And one more thing, if you want to get this subject, you have to watch the video up to last with very patience. So without skip, you have to watch the video, then only my content will reach you. Okay. So the thing is, the question is, what is radioactivity and what is the law of radioactive decay and show that it is exponential in nature that is the 8 marks question so what is mean by radioactive process radioactive process means a substance spontaneously emits alpha beta gamma and other particles due to that its size is going to be decreased that process is called radioactive process the process in which a radioactive substance can emit the alpha beta gamma particles due to that its size is going to be decreased that is what we call radioactive process so radioactive process is the process the radioactive substance substance decay by itself by itself by emitting alpha beta gamma and other particles that is what we call radioactive process radioactive process the radioactive substance can decay by itself by emitting the alpha, beta, gamma and other particles that is what we call radioactive process. Dear friends, so nobody can apply force on the hills, mountains and uh, some historical structures like Golconda Fort like that. So year by year their size is going to be decreased. So that's why any substance that is going to be decay, decay means what? Reduce in size, reduce in its size. It decay means what? Decrease in their size. Okay. So any substance is going to be decay itself by emitting alpha, beta, gamma particles. Then that process what we call radioactive process. And that substance is called radioactive substance. Clear children. Now what is mean by law of radioactive decay so children if you want to know that before you have to know about the what is meant by lifetime and uh, of life so i will clearly upload the one video for what is lifetime and what is of life of the nuclear nucleus so there we have discussed very clearly but simply i will going to say, uh, give an example for you what it is daily example what is meant by lifetime lifetime means birth to the interval between birth to death that is what we call lifetime lifetime birth and death in between these two some life it is there that is the lifetime we can say that in the same manner if any sample or substance is going to be disintegrates by emitting alpha beta particles then all the nuclei must be came out from the substance for that time, for that, how much time will it, it will take? That should be called lifetime. Clear. The time taken by the substance to disintegrate the all the nuclei what is inside the substance. That should be called lifetime of the nuclei. Clear. For example, here to understand the simply I'm giving here. This is the one sample. In that thousand nuclei are there. The time taken by the sample. To disintegrate the 500 nuclei, 500 nuclei, 
Higher reading frequency means what? Half of the maximum. Half of the maximum. For that, the time required is called half life. Half life. Clear. To understand that simply I am saying here, 1000 nuclei are there in that substance. The time taken by the substance to disintegrate the how many nuclei? 500. For that, how much time required? That is what we call half life. In the same manner, here is the time taken by the substance to disintegrate the complete nuclei. That is what we call lifetime. Clear. So that's why here the decay means reducing the size of the sample. Here, what you have to prove? Radioactive decay is the exponential in nature. Exponential in nature. So, children, on board one diagram it is there. Look here once. If you can plot a graph between the number of nuclei decayed and time. Number of decayed nuclei and time. So we can observe here at a time t is equal to 0, that should be consist of maximum number of nuclei of many and not. Here when time is 0 means there is no decay. Just it is started to decay. At the time it has maximum number of nuclei of many and not. And after that, here for t naught by 2, how what we have? n naught 2 by 2 is there. So just now what I told you, 1000 I told, here 500. Next again, by 4, 250, like that. So here simply, the time taken to disintegrate the off of what is called, uh, off life we can say that. So you can observe here, the decay should be goes exponentially like this. That should be given by the formula n is equals to n naught of e over of minus lambda by t. So you can observe here the number of nuclear disintegrates must be decreased like this. So that's why what I have to say. It is a decay. That's why exponential it is decay and there is negative value like that. Negative means what? Size of the nucleus is decreases. So now we have to prove that one. So, my aim is to say simply here, you have to remember, when t is equal to 0, how many maximum number of nuclei is there? A0 is there, you have to remember that. Now, we can go for derivation. So, already on the board, the statement is there, what it is? The rate of radioactive decay is directly proportional to the number of nuclei, number of nuclei. So, for example, in our daily life, in our daily life, so you can observe the people who have more money they are have the chance to donate the more amount clear so for example two two men are there in that one is rich one is poor among these two which one is how to donate the more amount the rich people is going to be donate the more amount because you have some option is there money is there so like that here Law of radioactive decay. Law of radioactive decay that is what? The rate of radioactive decay is directly proportional to the number of nuclei in that substance. That is what we call law of radioactive decay. So here dn by dt. Rate of change of nuclei is directly proportional to the number of nuclei. Number of nuclei. So here, this is the one substance that should be having n number of nuclei and there are lots of this dn by dt proportional to n we are writing. Here we are writing dn by dt means what? There is loss of nuclei with respect of time. That is what we call law of radioactive decay. So it is also written as the rate of decay of number of nuclei, number of nuclei is directly proportional to the number of nuclei. For example, it is a one substance that should be having some 5000 nuclei and it is having some 100 nuclei. The number of loss of nuclei depend upon the maximum number. So here the chance to lose the more number of nuclei, more number of nuclei compared to this one. So if the sample has more number of nuclei, then chance for decay of more number of nuclei. Like that, that is given by the law. The rate of radioactive decay is directly proportional to the number of nuclei. Clear children? So from that, we have derived the equation should be like that. 
n is equals to n naught into the power of minus lambda by 2 we have to prove so children from that one here proof or explanation what it is according to the law of radioactive decay what do you write dn by dt is proportional to n so here from that we are going to write dn by dt is equals to minus lambda into n minus lambda into n so dear students here lambda is called da decay constant what it is decay constant and minus represents the decreasing size decreasing size so losing of nucleic can indicate the negative symbol from that what right dn by dt is equals to minus lambda by n from the same equation we are going to write like this you have to bring the n this side then what do you get dn by dt dn by dt here in that you can take dt that side and bring the n in this side then what do you get here into it is there it is come to the side dn by n dn by n is equals to in the same manner what do you get here simply dn by n is equals to you have to bring the dt to the side then what do you get minus lambda t minus lambda t so this is the equation number 1 So to get the total number of nuclear disintegration, we have to integrate the above equation on both sides. So we have to integrate the equation on both sides like d n by n is equal to minus integral delta t delta t. Clear. So dear students, it is in the form of integral one by x dx one by x dx. Then what do you get here, children? Log x. This is the formula. In the same manner, that should be like in the same way. What it is integral one by n d n is equals to minus integral lambda t like that. So here t means nothing but what it is children d t d t we get. So here d t. So here one by n d n one by x d x. Instead of that, what you have to write here simply log n log n is equals to here minus lambda into d t. Here, what we know, integral dx x we what we get, we will get x. Integral dx means what we get, x. In the same manner, integral lambda is the constant. That's what we get, minus lambda of minus lambda of dt we will get, right? Very simple here, children. So minus lambda is constant here. Lambda integral dt we will get. What I told you just now, integral dx means what, x. So then what we get, children, here. Simply log n minus lambda t plus c. What is plus c? Here c is the integration constant. What is c here? C is what integration constant. So this is equation number two, children. Log n is equals to minus lambda t plus c. So already starting of the video, I told you what is when. At t is equals to zero. At t is equals to zero, the number of nuclear bond is n is equals to n naught. N is equals to n naught. That's why when before going to start the decay, the number of maximum nuclear bond nuclear bond is n o. That's why here where we have n, there we have to substitute n naught, and where we have t is we have to substitute zero. Then what right? Log n means what? N naught minus lambda into zero plus c. Clear. So here it is there equal to and this is the minus. So that very simple log n is equal to minus lambda into t plus c. Okay. So then what did right here lambda into zero s zero. Then what did log n naught is equal to what did here c. C is equal to what log n naught log n naught children. Very simple. We have already taken condition at time t is equals to zero, n is equals to n naught. Here n is n naught and t is zero. This term will become zero. Then what do you get? Log n naught is equals to c. Now substitute this c value in equation number two. So then what do you get? Children here substitute c value in equation number two. What do you get? Substitute c value. In equation number two, what do you get? Log n 
minus lambda t plus what is c1 log n naught log n naught so from that what we actually learn here we are bringing log n naught this side this side what do you get log n minus log n naught is equals to minus lambda t clear and dear students it is in the form of log a minus log b that is what log of a by b what is log of a by b children so then what read here log n minus log n naught log a minus log b means what log of a by b like that log n minus log n naught means what log of n by n naught is equals to minus lambda t minus lambda t so children if you can apply the anti logarithm we will get n by n naught is equals to e to the power of minus lambda t e to the power of minus lambda t so from that what we learn n is equals to n naught into e to the power of minus lambda t so from that equation what you have to say children so therefore from that what right radioactive decay active decay is the exponential exponential in nature so this is the eight marks you learn so from the formula what you have tried n is equals to n naught of e to the power of minus lambda d d is there from the what you have to say radioactive decay is the exponential in nature so this is the eight marks question children it's enough for that eight marks dear students if you can understand this one like share comment in the video if you want to support me just subscribe my channel and share my channel to your friends also thank you for watching